Hey radio amateurs, this is Kyle, KA5D, and today we're going to talk about cheap Yagi's. So any search on the internet under cheap Yagi will return results that will provide you with plans to make these antennas for yourself. Now these things can be up on the air, very effective, on a very small budget. So I'm here to perpetuate the rumor that radio amateurs are industrious, resourceful, and most of all, frugal. So let's look at this one. This is a six element beam. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is for the 222 megahertz band. Truly an oddball band for an oddball operator. So what we've got is one reflecting element, one driven element, and four directing elements. Uh, this is fed very simply by a piece of a, a coax that I cut off. And then I attached the, um, the center conductor to one part of this dipole right at the boom. And I curved it around and went all the way back through and attached the braid to the other part and let that other side kind of come across like that. And then the rest of these elements were cut to spec according to the plans that I found and spaced according to the plans that I found. And then I just used a one by two furring strip, which is quite possibly the cheapest wood you can find. This stuff is just number six copper uh, grounding wire, uh, six gauge. You can get all this at a hardware store for just a few bucks. And then I used a U-clamp with some uh, wing nuts. Um, no, you're a wing nut. Anyway, so I put this on a pole, and what I'd like to do is uh, use my rig expert and a piece of coax to test my work. Now, if this is anywhere near, you know, 1.5 to 1 or less, I'm going to be happy considering what I paid for it. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up. And uh, my rig expert says that uh, it's fairly broad banded and it's going to be less than 1.2 to 1 um, across uh, the band that I want to work in. So I've got it centered on 222.1 megahertz, which is the uh, USB, the upper sideband calling frequency uh, for contesting. So um, this will be my. Uh, our first attempt, uh, my brother and I are going to do run a contest rover, and uh, our first attempt at really having a, a production 222 megahertz radio uh, in our limited rover uh, for the June contest, which is the second weekend in June. So, you too can build yourself one of these things. Um, the only other thing that you would need that I didn't mention is some zip ties to zip tie the coax on there. I used some RTV cement. And when I'm drilling these holes, I drill them at a diameter that allows these to actually just kind of pressure fit in there so they don't wiggle around. And then I, you know, I kind of do a little belt and suspenders action by putting some RTV cement in there as well. And you want to let this dry for at least a few hours before applying the SWR grease to the, uh, the elements to make them a more electrically efficient. So um, with that, that's all there is to it. So build one of these things. Go to the hardware store. Get on the air, build one for six meters, two meters, 440, even this oddball band, or 33 centimeters if you like, that's a fun band too. Um, and get on the air. Don't let finances get in the way of your fun. I'm Kyle, KA5D in Austin, Texas. See you on the air.